Hello, and welcome to another VSG Expanded video. Today, we're going to jump on the whiteboard to learn about net conductor fabrics and how they can help level up your campus networks. Let's head over to the whiteboard and take a look. I'm sure we're all familiar with the challenges of traditional networks. They're slow to adapt, they're complex in design, and they're difficult to maintain. We solve these with overlays. So first is the centralized overlay. Many of you use centralized overlays every day with your existing AOS 8 or AOS 10 gateways and access points where the wireless traffic is tunneled to a centralized gateway. And then you can do policy with uh, layer seven firewalls based on the user role and segmentation of traffic at that gateway. With dynamic segmentation and user-based tunneling, you can do the same from our AOS uh, CX switches where the traffic is all tunneled to a unified gateway and you can have the same policy applied across wired and wireless traffic. This solution is great, but it has some problems as it limits east-west connectivity. So if you have two endpoints trying to speak to each other and you have to put it through a gateway that can add latency and it has scalability issues where if you try and put too much traffic through a centralized fabric, you may run into issues. To address that, we developed our distributed fabric. This is based on standard-based eVPN VXLAN technology. With this, we can deploy a distributed fabric into your wired and wireless infrastructure but now traffic is more effectively routed in the fabric directly between the edge switches and the wireless. We understand that managing these fabrics and deploying them can be challenging. So to address this within HPE Aruba Networking Central, we have UI driven workflows where you can deploy your fabric in a timely manner without having to develop complex scripts and understand the CLI. We save you time and you have to only understand the intent of your network and the policy that you want. We take that business intent and apply it to the infrastructure to give you the end result. Utilizing Central, you can deploy all of this out to multiple sites. You can use centralized fabrics where it makes sense and distributed fabrics where it makes sense. So you may have small lo locations where you want low complexity. Centralized fabrics are great. You may have large sites with lots of east-west traffic or large scale. So you can deploy distributed fabrics. We give you that choice. And of course, with any modern network, policy is key. So we have our new central policy manager where you can utilize roles and create policy, not based on IP address, but based on the endpoint or user's role. We create this policy matrix, we create role to role policies, and then this is automatically applied directly to the infrastructure. And we have policy no longer based on IP address, but based on role and role to role policies. So with the new central net conductor overlay fabrics and the policy manager, we make networks much easier to deploy with our fabric wizard. We reduce complexity with overlay networks. We can keep our underlay very simple. And now all the complexity and policy is in this easy to maintain overlay, which in the end makes these networks easier to maintain. That was a quick review of the net conductor fabric solutions. Next, let's look at a traditional campus, first reviewing the topology then showing specifically how we can transform that into a distributed fabric and what benefits we gain. We have the traditional LAN network that I'm sure we're all familiar with. We have a core layer, an aggregation layer, and an access layer for client connectivity. On the left, we have a aggregation block where we connect our wireless AOS 10 gateways and firewalls. And on the top, we have a WAN aggregation block where we connect our WAN services to the network. This traditional network poses some challenges. The first is box by box management. So anytime we want to make a change to this network, we're having to touch multiple points. We may need to new, add new VLANs to the access layer, uh, new VRFs or routing instances to the core and ag layer, uh, new zones to the firewall. The second issue is VLAN sprawl. Within the access layer, the way we use VLANs today is to segment different types of traffic on the network. We may have IoT VLANs, client VLANs, guest VLANs, contractors, and many more. This VLAN sprawl causes our routing table to bloat because each one of these VLANs is generally its own subnet, and it also creates a lot of VLANs to manage. The third is policy enforcement. Within this traditional design, if we want to enforce policy, say between IoT and clients, we need to figure out how to get that traffic to a firewall. So we may layer two span all the way across our network from the access layer up to this firewall, but then we're breaking network best practices so we may use something like VRFs to extend that IoT segment all the way up to a firewall zone. But then we have really inefficient routing between the IoT network and the client network. We have to hairpin all the way through that firewall. 
That leaves us with three key challenges. The first is that it, this is slow to implement change. You can see the complexity here that makes it slow and error prone whenever we want to make changes to the network. It's also difficult to troubleshoot because of the complexity. And security is also a challenge, as you saw, by getting the traffic to the firewall. So with the Aruba solution, we first introduce Central. Central is our cloud network management tool. We'll add all this infrastructure to Central so we can manage our WAN, LAN, and wireless all from a single pane of glass. Next, we'll add a distributed fabric overlay into this campus. This fabric that we're instantiating will act as an overlay network. This overlay will simplify our network and many of the devices that we saw in the topology before will act as the underlay. This overlay is based on standards EVPN VXLAN for the control and data plane. And this overlay is provisioned from Fabric Wizard within Aruba Central. So you can worry about the design of the network without having to understand all of the complexities of EVPN VXLAN. This overlay network simplifies our network design. So now, instead of having VLANs sprawling across the network, we'll utilize any cast gateways to create a unified VLAN across our entire access layer. We'll decouple the IP address from policy. We can put all of our endpoints into the same VLAN, the same large subnet, and then utilize our next piece, the policy manager, to instantiate policy. Within Central, we introduced a new concept called the policy manager. This builds off the concept of a role. The idea is that we'll separate an endpoint or a user's identity from its IP address. When an endpoint or user comes onto the network, it'll be assigned a role, and then we'll enforce policy based on that role. We'll define roles like employee, guest, and IoT, and then create a policy matrix, which will say what those devices can or cannot talk to. We could create a policy that says employees can only talk to each other, but employees cannot talk to IoT devices. That policy is then pushed from the central policy manager into the fabric. So we'll have policy directly between the access nodes in the network without having to tunnel traffic to the firewall. These optimizations to our design allow network administrators to use role-based segmentation, intelligent overlays, a choice between distributed or centralized, and leverage central's AI ops for things like troubleshooting. All this together greatly reduces the complexity to design and operate networks with the central. That's a wrap on another VSG Expanded video. For more great design, deploy, and operate content related to NetConductor and our other solutions, check out the Validated Solution Guide.